Pulmona scorpius was a giant scorpion from the early Carboniferous of Scotland, living between 336 and 326 million years ago. While most complete fossils range between half an inch and nearly a foot in length, one fragmentary individual is known to have grown over 28 inches, making these ancient arthropods one of the largest arachnids known from the fossil record. Pulmonoscorpius retained some primitive traits that are notably absent in their modern relatives, including large lateral eyes for daytime hunting, as well as a notable lack of burrowing adaptations typically seen in scorpions. The presence of book lungs, a type of respiratory organ used by modern arachnids, suggests that these armored predators were fully terrestrial. Like all living scorpions, Pulmonoscorpius was strictly carnivorous, using a combination of powerful claws and venom from their thumb-sized stinger to subdue their prey. Their fossil remains are known from the East Kirkton Quarry, a former limestone quarry that has preserved numerous tetrapods and arthropods from the ancient coal swamps of the Carboniferous. Pulmonoscorpius shared their strange world with other ancient oddities, like the small, lizard-like West Lothiana, the legless stem tetrapod Ophiderpetin, the two-foot Hybodont Tristichius, and the giant six-foot sea scorpion Hibertopterus. There were also many currently unnamed species from this ecosystem, including a giant Rhizodont fish, a real-life river monster that may have grown 16 feet in length. Likewise, these swamps were also home to an unknown type of embolomere, a group of strange eel-like amphibious predators that could reach lengths of over 15 feet. Pulmonoscorpius would have been a truly terrifying sight, a giant arachnid that shared its home with equally monstrous animals. However, not even these great invertebrates were safe from the inevitability of extinction.